before BV wasn't on. Um, yeah, what's up? Man, Ali Reza called rookie one, man. He like in Bishop G6 and he was saying that he thinks Magnus missed it, but he had this lucky resource. But take us through the day. How was it? Yeah, I mean, there, there's some irony in the fact that the best game that I played today was actually this last game. All the other games were pretty, pretty me mediocre at best. There's some irony in the fact that the best game I played uh, ended with just a ridiculous blunder like that. But um, yeah, I mean, it was it was a strange day. Obviously, this game against Vita was uh, very, very, very long and very taxing. And I mean, I was I was quite unlucky that this end game uh, with the Rook and two against the Bishop and two is just a, a theoretical draw. So that that was unfortunate. Um, you know, I don't really know what to say. The game that game could have gone either way. The game against Ding, I was I think I was winning out of the opening, and then probably at some point I might have been losing, or I mean, maybe it was drawing or losing at some point. So. Uh, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world, obviously, the, with the result. Um, cause I'm, I think I'm still in the top eight nonetheless, but, uh, it's like, I, I'm just, I'm just pretty upset about the last game because all the other games I thought I played, I played pretty badly. And then this game, I played really well, right up until the end when I just made this, uh, terrible one move blunder. Um, so it's, it's unfortunate because I, I think I, I should have probably just, I, sh I should not have lost this game. If I'd gone knight d4 and b6, which is my original intention, uh, yeah, just keep going. Yeah, knight d4, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not even, it's not even so much a specific blunder. It's the fact that like Magnus had like 20 seconds. So if I got knight d4, bishop d3, and just b6, I mean, I, I, I don't, I really doubt that I would have lost this game. I think probably it would have been a draw somehow, like bishop e3 and, and some simplification. Um, but yeah, to make this this one move blunder, of course, is is very disappointing because, uh, like I said, I thought it was the best game I played all day, um, and by a significant margin at that. I didn't think the, uh, I didn't think most of my other games were very good. So it's uh, it's, it's strange, but you know, it, it 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 could have been worse. Like for example, I could have lost this game against Ding, and then and then this last game, I probably would have gone completely on tilt, and then then I'm not even. Uh, in the hunt probably for the top eight so yeah i mean it's 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 what it is um but like i said i'm still in the top eight i think and um and i don't think i've played a lot of people near the bottom of the scoreboard so so that that's the good thing i think i think i, I think at least two of the players uh shanklin and blue bomb i haven't played yet so my pairing should get easier tomorrow and i just have to uh have to win some games was was b3 just a just kind of like a, a flash decision or did you just kind of review your notes and go, I think I have my best chances today against these two guys or did it start with Vidit and then you just chose to play it against Ding as well? Or... Um, yeah, so I mean, again, against Vidit, I just decided to play it because I thought it was interesting, something different. Um, and then against Ding, I kind of did it because I had a feeling that he might actually go back in the same line and um, and sure enough, he did. So, so it was pretty, pretty amusing considering Ding has never played this, but I'm guessing that he probably had time in between games or wh whomever he's working with had time to look at it. And, um, and he went into it and, and I got a great position in that game. And then I completely messed it up, but, but then Ding made the last blunder. So I was able to win that, but I just, I thought I'd do something different and, um, and it, you know, just, just play chess. Where do you actually think you were worse against Ding? Cause sure computer, like when you sacrifice the exchange, maybe, but you were, it felt like your, your decision that game was to get him like, into the deep end, low time, keep as many pieces on the board as possible, and and sort of just pressure like that. But we felt like you. Um, I you wouldn't just... say that was necessarily the idea. I I just got a great position, so we had to use a lot of time more than anything. Um, but then yeah, somehow once he got low on time, it just started moving quickly, and I started playing a lot of moves that made literally no sense. Um, <laughs> but like, like what? <laughs> Well, like trading rooks, like going rook g seven mm. was completely insane. Mm. I, I don't, e I don't even know. Um, I don't even know if it's bad per se. But if if I don't go rook g seven, I just keep rooks on the board. Like, I mean, I can't, I can't really be in trouble. But once rooks comes off, come off, I can actually end up worse because it's an end game. Um, so yeah, yeah, it was uh not not a, not a good game uh, at all. And then just about about the Magnus game, because a couple of people are asking. Um. I know there was some point in the Magnus game when after he played uh, he played D4 I, or E4, I could have played D4. It was very double-edged, and I didn't really want to go for that, um, which mm -hmm. is why I avoided it. I, I mean, I thought the way I played, as I said, was was pretty good throughout until I just played this one-move blunder at the end, uh, which, again, was inexplicable. But today was certainly a very long day, a lot of long games, um, and lo 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 more like stressful games, I would say, than anything. A lot of games that were very up and down and back and forth. Um, but again, you're trying to finish top eight, so it, it is what it is, um, and uh, you just you just move forward. What's next? What do you do in situations like this when the result is not the best, but of course you need to keep going and you need to bounce back tomorrow? What's the recipe? 
I mean, first of all, get get better pairings. I mean, I I, I would say I, I, if I look at my pairings, I literally had the worst possible pairings that you could get. I mean, if I think about the players I had black against, uh, I could not pick uh pick probably a worse set of players I would like to have black against. And uh, and we'll see tomorrow. Maybe I black against Levon for all I know, which which would only add to it. I'm I'm not actually sure because I haven't looked at the pairings. But I would say my pairings, the blacks that I've gotten have been against a lot of players who are da- very dangerous. Black against Magnus, black against Grisha, black against Nepo, black against Dubov. These are all players that I think are very, very aggressive and very mm-hmm. dangerous. So um, yeah, I would say that I would say the pairings have been have have not been favorable in terms of the colors I have, which has made it pretty difficult. Um, but that being said, now now I get the three whites and the two blacks in the final days. So um, if I don't if I don't don't take care of business, that's that's my fault. So I, I feel pretty good actually about where I'm at. Yeah, you have uh, Shanklin, Bluebaum, Aronian, MVL, and Wesley. Wesley. Yeah. Wesley. Mm-hmm. yeah, and the yeah, game against Aronian is with the white pieces, so hopefully that's a good piece okay. of news there. Well, I, I mean, it's not it's not even a good piece of news. I would just say that if if you asked me if I was going to get an extra black in this event, um, I literally could not probably pick a like black against Aronian as well would be about as bad as it gets. That's not to say the other players aren't dangerous, but I think yeah. certainly these are the players that I consider the sharpest and most aggressive. Um, you know, even someone like Dubov who's having a bad turn is extremely, extremely dangerous. So, um, yeah, but again, uh, there's still still five more games to go, still a lot of time. I'm still actually in the top eight as well. Uh, and, and oddly enough, probably it's it's a good thing I was thinking about that I have two wins and two losses because that, that means that I, that I probably have more wins than most of the other people who are going to end up in my score group. Um, True, and that's one of the tiebreakers. So I think do- that's the first tiebreaker, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, besides, yeah, besides head-to-head, it's, it's your... Um... Yeah, Obviously so so that actually so. it's 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 ironic that that actually helps me um quite a bit. But uh yeah, I mean obviously tomorrow's a new day and just have just have to uh just have to play play well. I mean I, I don't I don't think I've played badly. I've just uh, the last two two games uh on both days have, have really thrown it away. If I if I hadn't lost these two games uh you know the fifth and final round the last two days, I, I would be doing completely fine. But uh you know, you can't really go back and you just have to uh move move on and um hopefully I'll Hopefully things will go well because I, I definitely don't feel like I've played my my best chess uh, on these first two days. I think it's kind of not not the great news that we're looking to hear because I think Dude is about to win against Blue Bomb, so he will join you it and Grisha. Doesn't Grisha. matter. I mean, it it really doesn't matter because of how bunched the standings are. Yeah. I mean, but what what I would say is I, I think you know if if, if uh, going to this event, what I would say is um, essentially. If, if I don't lose any games, I'll, I'll have chances here and there to pick up points. And so in a way, I, I've, I'm actually in that same situation where you could say, theoretically, I've had like 10 draws. Um, and so, so, uh, so, so basically, from that standpoint, I assume I'm going to have more opportunities tomorrow, and I just have to capitalize on them. I think, you know, if I win one or two, I think if I win one game tomorrow, I'll qualify. If I win two, for sure, I'll qualify. I think that's basically my, I mean, the, the equation that I have in my head. So they have a plus one score tomorrow or plus two? Yeah, I mean, basically, if I end the tournament on plus one or plus two, I assume I'm going to qualify. It's that simple. Mm-hmm. Um, and if it's not good enough, it's not good enough. Uh, so, yeah, that's life. Games are done. Uh, Duda has uh, has defeated Blue Bomb. Blue Bomb had a very strange day. Uh, he... He beat Aronian, he was mm-hmm. beating Dubov, but then he blundered in the endgame and drew. And since mm-hmm. then, he has completely, like, tanked. It's like he lost to Shankland in 20 moves with White, and now he lost again to Duda. So very weird, because he could have easily also been in the running, half a point out. So. Yeah, but I mean, I think the thing is, again, it's very, very difficult. Uh, you know, you know I, th- I think, like, there are a lot of people who are like, oh, you know, I'm drawing too many games or something. You know, and I, I, think, the, I think the thing is, the thing that's, like, important to remember is, like, uh, it's, it's best to try and avoid these big streaks because I mean, sure, if you win a ton of games in a row, obviously it's great, but also if you lose one really bad game, it's very easy to tilt. For example, if this game mm-hmm. against Magnus was like, let's just say the second to last game of the day, I very easily could tilt off in the next game. Um, so it's, it's one of those things where you, you, you really, it's, you ha- kind of have to try to stabilize as much as you can. Cause if, if one thing goes wrong and the, then it affects, you can just throw away the tournament. And in many ways, I mean, I guess Dubov is kind of in it somehow because i guess he won his last game but like it's just one of those events where when 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 you start going on these streaks and especially when it's a downward streak uh you you kind of put yourself you're, you're no longer in contention well, we uh wish you all the best for tomorrow yeah i mean it, like i said it's it's not you know it's not the end of the world uh it, it could be a lot worse um 
I mean, this this Ding game, if it goes the other way, or the Vita game, for probably a move or two, it also could have gone the other way. Then I would probably have to like win win every game tomorrow to have a chance. So uh, it could be worse. But that being said, um, and I've said this before, when when I feel like I haven't played my best best chess, uh, I'm gonna assume that I won't I won't play play bad chess three days in a row because I I don't think the chess on these first two days has been great. So if I, if I, if I, if I don't play my best chess for three days in a row, then, you know, that's life. Um, and I don't deserve to qualify, but I, I, I feel like that's most likely not going to happen. So we'll see. We wish you the very best and, uh, just maybe another walk at by the beach. We, you posted a really nice picture the other <laughs> day. So we hope that you will again do an outdoor activity just to, um, forget about these first two days and tomorrow new page mm -hmm. and that's what will matter tomorrow's preliminary yeah. is the final day exactly yeah and and mm -hmm. positive note you're wearing a fly ass hoodie so that's you know that's yes. one thing that uh, that that other people can't <laughs> i like it i like it i haven't Thanks. gotten to that bright spectrum yet i gotta i gotta take a look so <laughs> yeah Thanks, i well. saw so many comments about the hoodie uh, yeah it's uh, after the pineapple shirt i think it's the second most requested item uh, it's now dope. it's dope it's good to be radiant uh yeah looking yeah, forward exactly. to tomorrow well Hopefully. radiant's good if it's in valorant otherwise i don't know but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys tomorrow's a new day new day uh i mean I, I think i have the best pairings i could ask for on the final day considering the situation so just you could always be playing me or anna instead so that could be better <laughs> yeah yeah i suppose that's true um <laughs> that's but, good yeah stuff. Anyway, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a new day tomorrow. And again, I'm still, I'm, I'm in pretty decent position despite what I feel is not my best chest. So really to, to be in it with a shot is, is all that matters. Guys, it's been, uh, it's been fun. We'll sign up for today mm -hmm. and uh, be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, 5 Central Europe. Hey, Carl, we'll follow your, uh, your quest to the top eight. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All the see best you. for tomorrow. All the bye, best everyone. for everyone. Okay, bye.